Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorials of compiler design. In the previous session of unit 1, we have discussed about the uh, phase of compiler. So, this is the phase of compiler, total uh, 6 phases. First, uh, it start with the source program. So, lexical analysis, syntax analysis and semantic analysis. That is called the analysis phase and code optimization and code generation is called synthesis phase between analysis and synthesis phase one intermediate code is used so this is a total phase of compiler total six phase and we are converting the source program to the target program so this uh, six phase is most important one most important one more important part is the symbol table and error detection and recovery. So what do you mean by symbol table? Symbol table is an important data structure create and maintained by the compilers in order to store the information about occurrence of various entities such as a variable name, function name, object, class, interface, etc. Uh, and symbol table is used by the both analysis as well as synthesis part of compiler. Symbol table may serve like it stores the name of all entities in structure form and it to verify if variable has been declared and also it used for implement the type checking by verifying the assignment and expression in source code that are semantically correct or not and symbol table also determine the scope of name means it used for scope resolution symbol table work each and every phase of compiler then this is example of symbol table here the variable name position initial and rate here the data types Position cover the float, initial cover the float, and rate also cover the float data type. And this is the address. So this is one symbol table. As based on a previous discussion, here you can try this type of a example like x is equal to b minus c into 2. So uh, write all the phases of compiler for following statement. For a second, i is equal to PNR divided by 100. And one more example, x is equal to a plus b into c divided by a minus b into c. So let me discuss for this type of equation. As discussion, uh, previous discussion, we have convert this into the syntax, uh, syntax analysis. So here x is equal to a plus b into c divided by a minus b into c. So is equal to sign is used here. So we are using this is equal to sign. Or you can start with this last equation. Okay. So two equation uh, here use and uh, division operator is uh, middle of operator. So middle of operator is root operator. So you can use this operator as a root operator. This is equal to sign is a root operator. X is our left hand side and right hand side is our this equation. So division operator come here. Then in left hand side minus this equation is covered. So for this equation we require minus. First we require minus then A left hand side B into C covered right hand side so b into c but here multiplication operator so this way you can represent the tree structure of the syntax analysis same way for this instruction a plus b into c you can convert in the syntax structure so this way this is a tree structure for this two equation uh, try yourself x is equal to b minus c into 2 and i is equal to pnr p multiplication and multiplication are divided by 100 then 
let me discuss about grouping of phases. Here, front end and back end, it's cover into the grouping of phases. So, what is the front end? We all discuss the lexical analysis, uh, syntax analysis, and semantic analysis. So, it depends primarily on source language, largely independent of the target machine. It includes following phase lexical analysis, syntax analysis, and semantic analysis, as well as intermediate code generation, creation of symbol table. So, all things that cover into the front end part. It will be covered into grouping of phase uh, front end part. And uh, what is the back end part? Depend on the target machine. Here, source language is useful, but here in back end part, target machine and do not depend on the source program. So, it includes code optimization as well as code generation phase. Only two phase cover at a back end time. And if any error will be covered, so we required the symbol table, it will be stored the particular entries as well as error handling part also cover into the back end. So, error handling and symbol table operation also cover into the back end. This is called the grouping of phase. Let me check a simple difference between compiler and interpreter. So, we all familiar the difference simple difference between compiler and interpreters compiler compile hold the program but here interpreter compile line by line compiler scan the entire program and translate it at a hole into the machine code while interpreter translate the programs one statement at a time compiler generate the intermediate code while interpreter does not generate any intermediate code Compiler an error is displayed after entire program is checked. While in interpreter, an error is displayed for every instruction interpret if any. Means we are performing the single single instruction and uh, we run the program, so it will be display the error at every instruction. Memory requirement is more in compiler because whole program will be compiled, so it will be load. And then compile but here less memory is required because small instruction or a that statement will be executed one by one then here the example of compiler we are using the turbo C compiler here the interpreter like basic here the example of interpreter is basic Python or Ruby language then extent uh, context of compiler is called the cousin of compiler so here cousin of compiler cover the processor preprocessor compiler assembler linker and loader okay one more editor also covered into the context of compiler that is called cousin of compiler so skeletal source program first come to the editor it will be entered by editor we are all familiar with the editor notepad or notepad plus plus or uh, if we write the some document so we require the word or word page. so this all call the editor various type of editor available in market so it is the uh, it uh, preprocessor generally use the in input from other program so we are input from the editors then what is the compiler task of compiler compiler is a special program that process the statement written in the particular language particular programming language and turns them into the machine language or code that's a comp computer processor is used the object code is a machine code the processor can execute one instruction at a time then work of a assembler so what is the assembler an assembler is a program that takes a basic computer instruction and convert them into the patterns of bit that computers processor can use the use to perform the basic operation some people 
call this instruction as a assembler language and other use the term assembly language then work of a linker linker and loader linker generally used to link the particular files so what is the functionality of linker if a computing a linker or a link editor we can say that it is a link editor is a computer system program that takes one or more object file gen generated by the compiler or assembler and combine them into the single executable file library file or object file so this is the function of linker and what is the function of loader what is the use of loader loader is a part of operating system that is responsible for loading executable file into the memory and execute them it calculates the size of program instruction and data and create the memory space for it it initializes various register to init uh, initiate the execution so total source program are divided or it will be covered from editor to the preprocessor source program come to the compiler so it will be uh, compile and target assembly program so assembler work of assembler will be covered and to convert relocatable object code we require the linker as well as loader linker link the particular file object file or libraries as well as loader is used to relocate the object code and finally we got the absolute machine code so in addition to compiler many other system program are required to generate the absolute machine code so this way first preprocessor some some of the task performed by preprocessor like macro preprocessing so it allow user to define the macros macro is a small program so just like an example we are working with the circle area of circle then we define value of pi by using this has defined pi 3.14 this whole value remain the constant whenever your program execute so we are define the value of pi it will be fixed no any changes of this value because we all familiar the value of pi is 3.14 okay so this type of a macro processing is used for a preprocessor then file inclusion a preprocessor may include the header file into the program like we are using the include std io.h include on your.h console input output header file standard input output header file we are using the include math.h okay then rational preprocessor it provide the built in macro for construct like while statement or if statement language extension so it add the capability to the language by using built in macros here example the language equal is a database query language like in embedded c we are using in a structure query language same way for embedded system uh this type of a embedded uh database query language is used the statement begin with the double hash are taken by preprocessor to be database access statement unrelated to the c and translated into the procedure call the call on routines that perform the database operation then task of compiler compiler is a program that read the program written in the source language and translate into the equivalent program in the target machine target language that is the machine language then assembler task of assembler is a one translator which take the assembly program that is called memonic as an input and generate the machine code as an output then linker linker make a single program from a several file of relocatable machine code 
and this file may have been result of several different compilation and one or more library file. Generally, we load the particular files by using linker. If your file stored in include directory, so we are linked the particular file by using hash sign include h3io.h. It will be linked the standard input output header file. Same way string.h. You are linked the particular file from uh, stored at your directories. So linker and loader is used to link library file as well as object files. Then loader, the process of loading consists of taking the relocatable machine code and altering the relocatable address, placing the altered instruction and data in memory at proper location. Let me discuss the path structure of compiler. One complete scan of source program is called the pass. One pass. Pass include the reading an input file and writing to the output file. We are read the, from the source file, that is the input file, and we are writing to output file. It is called pass. In a single pass compiler, analysis in the single pass compiler, analysis of source statement is immediately followed by synthesis of equivalent target statement. First, we are performing the analysis, analysis phase of particular source program and it will be immediately followed by synthesis of equivalent target, target program. So in the synthesis phase, that is a code optimization and code generation will cover. Then, while in a two-pass compiler, intermediate code is generated between analysis and synthesis phase. We are required the intermediate code between analysis and synthesis phase. So this is called the pass structure. It is a difficult to compile the source program into the single pass due to forward reference. Forward reference means reference of program entity is a reference to the entity which precede its definition in the program. This problem can be solved by postponing the generation of target code until more information concerning the entity become available. It led to the multi-pass model of compilation. A forward reference occur when a label is used as an operand. For example, and branch target or earlier in the code, then the definition of label, the assembler cannot know the address of forward reference until it read the definition of label. And uh, one more difference between forward reference and backward reference. So forward reference are not a resolve that is use symbol at one point in the text which is not defined until some later point given the wrong result while backward reference on other hand are handled correctly it will be used in the two pass for reference uh, is used in the two pass assembler so what is the pass here let me check by using example. In pass 1, it performs the analysis of source program and not relevant information will covered in pass 1. While we are performing the pass 2, so in pass 2, it generates the target code using instruction or information noted in pass 1. So pass 2 is only performed after the pass 1 will be completed. If pass 1 is not completed, then and then then pass 2 will not complete. So it must be required to complete the pass 1 before pass 2. Effect of reducing the number of pass. It is desirable to have few pass because it takes time to read and write the intermediate code. If we group several pass into the one pass, then memory requirement may be large. Let me 
discuss the types of compiler so this is the last topic of uh, this unit first uh, one pass compiler so it is a type of compiler that compile the whole program in one pass what is the two pass compiler it is a type of compiler that compile whole pass in a two pass pass one and pass two it generates the intermediate code here direct compilation will be covered means your source program is used and it will be convert or compile into the target program no intermediate code is used in pass one compiler while in a two pass compiler it will be use the intermediate code incremental compiler so the compiler which compile only the change line from source code and update the object code native code compiler the compiler used to compile a source code for a same type of a platform only so it's called a native code compiler and cross compiler the compiler used to compile a source code for a different kind of platform in a cross compiler thank you for attending the whole session please like and subscribe the channel thank you